Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to learn how to make a Google Doc into a journal. So I'm in my Google Drive and I click over here to New and I just go down to Google Doc. I have an untitled document and I want to name it correctly so I'll highlight the title up here and I'll then just name it and then I'll go into my document and I'll actually put my name at the top also. And I hit the return key twice. Now I'm ready to start my journal, but I don't want to put it like in paragraph form. I want to quickly go up to table and I want to insert a table. Right now we're going to insert four columns and we're just going to go four by four. So here's my four by four table. Well, I want to put my cursor here and I actually want to make the first column a little smaller. And I'm just going to call this day one and then maybe 0207 for today's date. If uh, you need to go back and resize the column, you can just do that. So I want to make it a little larger. And today's topic is going to be light bulbs. And of course, if you need to resize it, you can move it around. I'm going to resize it just a little. And then we're going to talk about light bulbs. And uh, I can write, there are many DIF different types of light bulbs. Sometimes when I type, I actually have to spell the word out. It helps a little. So here's my first journal entry, day one, today. It's all about light bulbs. That's the topic. There are many different types of, types of light bulbs. The student can write as many sentences in here, but instead of doing it by hand, you can do it electronic because tomorrow or next week, I'm going to go day two. And if it's a daily journal, it would be 02 slash 07. And then tomorrow could be about water. And then I type my sentence here. Water is cold in the winter. So we have this last column here. And what we want to do is kind of teach the kids actually how to utilize Google Docs and kind of make your journal come to life a little. So if you put your cursor blinking in here, I can click on insert and I can go down to image. And then I can click on search. And I'm going to go to the Google search and I can search for light bulbs and then quickly find one. Maybe I was talking about the incandescent light bulbs. Maybe I was talking about the fluorescent light bulbs. So you can search for anything you want here. And then as soon as you find one, you click on it. I click select. And now that picture goes in here on the right hand side. So you're using Google Docs as a journal. You're using a table to kind of keep everything organized. And then you're using pictures to kind of make their journal come to life. Well, hopefully that's helpful. You want to use Google Docs as a journal? Give it a try. <clears throat> now, I fast forwarded here a little and filled in four days of journal entries. And I've kind of run out of space. So I want to show you that uh, while you can start your table as a 4x4 four four, or whatever combination you want, if you do need more rows or more columns, just put the cursor blinking where you think you want to start some more columns and rows. Go back to table and look, then you can insert some things. So I would insert a row up below because I want to get the day five. And then I can just start with my next journal entry. You can start out with a table that is a, a four by 10 for 10 days or 10 journal entries. Or you can just start with a small and then teach the students how to just put that cursor in here and then go back up the table. I also can add another row. Um, or I could actually put a column to the right or to the left. So pretty much that's it. Helps you use Google Docs as a journaler.